What's up everyone? My name is Christian Colabelli. I'm the product manager of Effects Pedals at Eventide. And we're here doing another Eventide on the road and this time we've got spotlights. I was lucky enough to go to their show last night with Mr. Bungle. I think my teeth are still rattling from <laughs> the uh, decibel level and just the ways that they laid to everyone. It was amazing. We're going to start off with Mario right now and he's going to take us through his rig. The guitar, the Pure Salem La Flaca Hardtail. Oh, it's like a 24 and a half inch scale. We tuned to drop B and it still, it still holds the tuning really well. It's got the locking tuners from top to bottom. It's got everything, you know. It, it had a really balanced tonal spectrum, especially last night. You know, nice. even through your distortion, right, you right, could right. hear everything. And that's what I like is like it cuts, you have a lot of the mid range, but you still feel that bottom end and like the top end isn't harsh. It's not too like grindy sounding. I go directly into boss tuner that I've had for I think 25 years now or something like that. Awesome. <laughs> so from there we go into the Helix. That's the brain of like the whole operation. I use it for all my overdrive models. I have an OCD clone that they have that's amazing. I run both my amps clean and I just use that for like my main drive. Delays, reverbs, they're all insanely good clones of like an Echoplex and like a different hall reverb. And I also control our tracks from here. I'm running Ableton. I have playlists set up that have like a click linked to them. So each section of each song, I can kind of control via the Helix. So like, you know, I can start the click and then stop it. Uh, Super useful. Yeah, it's amazing. So from there we go out of the Helix, still mono. And then I believe I go into the Afterneath from there and then into the PS3, which is an old classic that I've had forever that I still still love. And then from there I go mono into the H9 and out of its stereo into the Ditto. That's like the main thing with this is like the, the width that you get when you start using the 100% stereo out Absolutely. of the H9. Stereo out to my two amps. The orange isn't here right now, but usually it's the 800, and then I have an orange CR120, I think it is, and just run them side by side, clean. Yeah. And crank. It sounded huge. Thanks, man. So let's focus more on, on the H9. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, take us through some of your uh, favorite presets. I just have three, and my main one is the Echo Space God. Which right, is, and that's coming from Mod Echo Verb. Right, right, right. And I basically just have it dialed in to be like a huge modulating reverb slash delay. And uh, okay. you know, it's just, it's literally like just size. So I use that and I also control it via the Helix. I just bypass it from there. So I'm not tap dancing with two feet. Uh, yeah, if I want to, so you know, if easier. I need to turn on a distortion in the H9 at once, it makes it super easy. I think that the H9 really pairs well with a lot of these digital modeling amps. I have a lot of artists that, yeah. that run it like that. And sure. it's just a, it's a totally different flavor, yep. you know? Yep. You don't just have to rely on that if you don't want to. Exactly, can... exactly. So I have that set and then I have this ring modulator. It's from Resonator. Which is really cool. Right now, since we only have the one amp running, you won't hear like the, the ping pong. It's really cool for like little. And again, I have it synced to the Helix. When I, you know, if I change to that preset, whatever preset on the Helix I change to, it'll sync up to the BPM of the Helix. Perfect. So all the, all the delays will match up and you know, the tracks, whatever we're playing will match up. The third one that I have for live purposes is Follow Me. That's from Ultra Tap, actually. Ultra Tap. So right, right, you have a certain number of taps and then it's just gonna, yeah, you yeah. know. And I kind of just messed with that and found that and, and just loved it, so I, I left it. <laughs> That's really cool, man. Yeah, and usually I'll just use that for like noisy parts and kind of, you know, loop it basically and add more stuff on top of it. It's just one of those pedals that you, turn on and you find inspiration and you yeah. find unlock something new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can spend years right. with that. Like I told you, man, I'm going to get high and sit and sit in my room and just spend six hours figuring, figuring out how to use it. That's how to do it. You have to uh, communicate. <laughs> Not too high. That's right. Yeah. Just transcend yeah. a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. But just tell us about the Power Max, man, a little bit. Oh, too. yeah, and the Power Max. How I are mean, you digging that thing? I love it. It's got the perfect amount of inputs or outputs power wise just because like I didn't have to use any extra daisy chains or anything so that was nice I love that you can kind of just change the voltage via the little switch yeah on the, the top. dip switch that's huge 
And it's been clean. Like, I mean, you can tell, like, we play a lot of venues. I've played here before and had a lot of noise from using, like, old ones, you know, just the wall wart type the things. one spot. But this thing's, like, it's, crystal clear. It really every is. Every pedal's running nice and smooth. So, yeah, I love it, man. And I love that it's so thin because it fits perfectly on my, on my pedal board there. Dude, thank you so much for being no so problem. gracious. Thank you guys. You guys are amazing. Oh, man. Keep making killer shit. So we're going to check out Sarah's rig next and uh, catch you in a, in a few. Okay, so we've descended into the depths and now we're in the world of bass with Sarah. So Sarah, take us through your rig. What's All going right. on? All right, how's it going? Thanks for having me. Thanks for being with Eventide. Yeah, of course. Awesome. So yeah, I'm playing a OB-1 500 into an orange 810 into an orange bass. And then uh, I come into my tuning pedal and then I swing down here. These are my main hitters. Westwood and a bass overdrive. Together, separate, I boost each other um, into my, my swollen pickle. Into the Monarch, and then this actually goes into the terminal and then jumps over to the Tone Job, Vintage Deluxe, Fuzz Factory, Wooly Mammoth, Bit Commander, Aqueduct into the H9. So the H9 I have last um, because I usually play through two amps. Gotcha. Uh, we're doing a small run of shows. I just brought one. Right. To make it easier. Understand. Um, so I usually do, you know, a stereo out stereo and do up. a 212 with a GK 400 RB. Sweet. So a lot of distortion, a lot of fuzz. For me, it's it's about tone and filling it up and. Yeah using the bass as a bass. And trust me, uh, from last night, that thing is <laughs> filled out. Yeah. Okay, so take us through some of your H9 presets. Cool, so my, my first one is the Carnegie Hall. Sweet. Which is cool, because we moved to Pittsburgh a year ago. So when I started playing around in the app, it was kind of funny that that's what I landed on. Um, so that's my basic, <laughs> kind of awesome. drawn out Holly reverb. Cool. Um, which I like to interact with my Monarch, usually. You know, this pedal's so versatile, it's gonna change every tour based on our set list. I don't have to dig around Switch for on. multiple pedals. I can just go in the app and dial Find it something. in. Right. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. yeah, so right now for this run, um, I have the Carnegie Hall with the Monarch, just for some drawn out. So next here, I think this is the train, which is probably my personal favorite right now, uh, just for swells in between songs, heavy parts, beginning, end of songs to like keep it kind of moving. Yeah, totally. It's cool because it can go big and add some little little notes in. Yeah. That's serious <laughs> stuff. Yeah, man. and it has a nice tail, so you know, playing live, it doesn't just cut and get weird. It's has a nice soft. 
Yeah, like I think off. I heard that one last really night cool. in particular. Yes. Yeah, that I used thing that was one. Really like. I use whoa. it a lot. One more, the vortex. That's really cool, you know? Yeah. I mean, I think you're one of, maybe one of the few artists that's u utilizing these algorithms in that context. Right. So it's cool to see that, you know? Yeah. Like, I guess that just exposes the truth about the H9. Everyone's gonna take it and, you know, use it for their own personal. Absolutely. Because there's just so much stuff in yeah, there. Yeah, and that's what's cool about it is you can play it alone or you can uh, you know, attach nine fuzz pedals to it. And, and it plays well with the fuzz pedals. It does. Too. It yeah. really does. Yeah. yeah. It's there's no muddy, Super weird tones. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So, and I noticed that you have that uh, the Power Max powering this board. I like, do. Yeah, nice. absolutely. Um, and yeah, it's just it's nice and compact. Being able to t to adjust uh, the voltage. I have my in ears hardwired, so this is like a 12 volt, and it's cool that it was easy. To Very, flip it and oh, connect it so I don't have to have an outside power supply. Yes. The noise reduction is great compared to daisy chain in one spot. Yeah, I love it. It's solid. Well, thank you so much thank again. You. you guys are yeah. so gracious to come and do this today. Of course. This is Christian Colavelli. Thank you, Spotlights, and I'm signing off. Peace out. <laughs>